What's going on, my engineers? Engineer, that's what it is. So this is the Mint website for Engine. And what I'm talking about today is NFTs, non-fungible tokens. It's an incredible community. And I've been looking into Engine and, you know, keeping up with the Engine platform for a year and a half, maybe two years now. Yeah. So I'm doing a giveaway. Uh, if you're not... Uh, net. If you're not update with the giveaway, it's on Twitter. Phenomenal Mark, go to my Twitter page, check out the giveaway. And I want to bring this video to you to discuss, you know, the engine ecosystem, what's going on under the hood. So let's actually go over to a non fungible token. Here goes, let's check this out. So this right here, this is a digital asset. You see the engine value right here. Let's see if I can zoom into that. Yeah, engine value, transfer fee, none. Supply model is collapsing. That means you can only have a set amount. It gets less, less, less. So if total supply is 100. That's it. You can't create 100 more of these coins. Uh, let's see, Martin Luther 3. You got a description right here. The token was created for AM, the second place winner of the Multiverse Art Contest. And here goes the comic right here. Let me see. So that's an example of a non-fungible token what it looks like you see up here you can melt it you can send it now what is a blockchain powered gaming multiverse well here goes an article from simon shout outs to simon k and this is part one of five so i'm not going to show you all the parts now I'll just give you an overview now obviously multiverse sounds like multiple universes or multiple things happening and collaborating cross crossing the borders crossing the digital uh, curtain, if you would say. So, and this article was released in 2018, September 2018. What is a gaming multiverse? In theoretical physics, a multiverse is an infinite array of universes where anything is possible and every possibility exists. So, it could be like me here, then me and another one. I mean, it's like almost like layers of bread, you know, different universes, multiverses, and each one existing, each one being valid and, and possible. The various universes within the multiverses are often referred as parallel or alternate universes or other dimensions. In context of gaming, players will be able to use their multiverse items in multiple gaming realms. Theoretically, players will be transported to parallel universes where they can see their multiverse items emanate in different forms with various functions. Now this is cool. Uh, let me see. This is cool because say if you got a War of Crypto character and then, oh, now you're in Age of Us. Now that War of Crypto character looks incredible. It's like a, a power up or a bonus or another character. Or if you're in Nine Lives Arena, you got a, a skull or a shield or a helmet. You go to Crypto Fights and you got this, this big suit of armor. It's cool. You know, good concept. Cool concept. Let me see what we got here. It's commonly hypothesized that if you travel <laughs> to different dimensions, you'll find that the other versions of yourself mm, leave completely, completely different lives. That's cool. And completely different people or don't exist at all. And it's estimated that the likelihood of each of us existing at all. <laughs> so I think there's one in a trillionth. Yeah, I think there's one in a trillionth possibility for anyone to exist in any dimension. So this is what this says. The likelihood of each of us existing at all comes 1 in 10 to 200.6850. <laughs> so just showing that there may be a slim chance of anyone existing, but it, it's possible. It happens. And why does it happen? That's a deeper subject. Uh, we're not going to get into that to right now, but the chances of our solar system landing in its current place in galaxy Earth shake being itself into a hospital environment, organisms evolving. So it's just, it's all the numbers of reality, you know, the possibilities, the, the percentage of it actually happening. So it makes sense for the multiverse character, and it seems to transform as you enter new dimensions. Yeah, so it could be something completely different. You have a character in one, you know, arena, and then it becomes a shoe in another arena. <laughs> in fact, we expect that this will become part of the adventure. All right. Can true gaming multiverse exist without blockchain? Nope. <laughs> That's like if you got Super Mario Kart. 
then you go to Tomb Raider, then you go to Metal Gear, then you go to Dota, or uh, just different games that's, that are popular right now. How can you go to all these games on different consoles? Blockchain is the answer. It's the way. Organic growth, okay, decentralized governance, and you can look all this up on the web. Here goes a few articles, actually. Nine developers sign up for revolutionary new engine multiverse. This is an article on Finder. Explaining engine, engine coin, ERC-11, non-fungible non token standard. Uh, and then you got to scroll down even more. Here go nine. Nine of the first. There's going to be more. Uh, nine lives, age of rust, Bitcoin hodler. I want to give away from Bitcoin hodler. Uh, born to the sky, cats and mechs. Crypto fights, Force Night War Crypto, Hella Hunter. Uh, so I think I have, I may have something in all of these games. It's cool. All right, so here goes another article, and this one says, Creating a Gaming Multiverse with Engine. And this was released October of 2018. The concept of the multiverse, I explained that. The games, here's a video. All right. So, that's it. Just telling you a little bit, a little sneak peek into non-fungible tokens, a multiverse, and why, what's all the hype? You know, why are people so excited about this? And yes, the engine wallet was released on the Samsung 10, or it is being installed. It is installed on the Samsung 10, the new phones that rolled out. Uh, leave a comment below. Did you get the new phone? How do you like it? How do you like the engine wallet? How do you like your non-fungible tokens? Are you minting non-fungible tokens? Uh, thanks for joining the community. I love being, you know, a crypto gamer, you know, testing out different things, winning different things. And... I'm on, obviously I'm on different chains, collecting different fungible, non-fungible tokens, and you know I like the strategy, and I'm using this for a business model. So that's what I'm saying. This is an incredible business model. Uh, let me see. This is the site for the wallet. This is all. Oh, last but not least, shout out to Coin Dreams. Make sure you download the Coin Dreams app. Start now for free. It's on App Store and Google Play. And the reason I say get this app, as you can see over here in the picture. Shows you airdrops, giveaways, and QR drops, beams. The list goes on. And if you have a giveaway or you have a company, you can also, you know, list your your giveaway on Coin Dreams. Great for marketing and the community. Let's go down a little bit more. You'll see the instructions. People can like it, download the image. They can retweet. So you can give different instructions to tweet, retweet, fill out a questionnaire, uh, leave a comment. This is great feedback for data for your project or your platform uh, user friendly all the info you need keep in the loop make it yours choose a theme for a better experience I'm going to create a uh, going to put it in to create a theme for bit savage a bit savage theme or actually I have a surprise so it's not gonna be a bit savage theme an auction house all right so stay tuned join the giveaway so on Twitter stop waiting start earning all right, thanks for tuning in. Here are the partners for Coin Dreams. And thank you for being around. Subscribe, like this video, share it. Do all you have to do and be active in the community. Uh, it's, it's going amazing. If you're in Telegram, you, you see what's going on. Between Twitter and Telegram, there's so much going on in the community. And we're just having fun, you know, and just collecting. Got to catch them all. All right, peace out now.